When I became a man, I stopped the childish things. But before, I was lost and all alone. I was listening to a world that said, do what you want. Jesus, it was an afterthought in this world. It was my home. Doing drugs and drinking liquor like, yeah, I'm grown. Forget putting God first. I was the Lord of my own throne. Searching for acceptance is all I had known because before I became a man, I was just another middle class clone. When I became a man, I stopped wasting my life, hoping and wishing a new life would just show up. I started listening to my mom for so long. She said, son, you need to grow up. So I grew up and the thought of living an average life, well, it made me want to throw up. So I threw up. I was in my jail, so I threw up my hands. I said, God, I'm tired of being a boy. I'm ready to be a man. One day when my nephews take my hand, I want them to know it's not about what Bubba says, it's about where Bubba stands. I want them to know that I believe in a God who inspires us to have big dreams and even bigger plans. I want them to know that if God is for you, then the haters of this world, well, <laughs> they don't stand a chance because there's a difference in being a boy and being a man. Since I became a man, I've been made fun of and laughed at, whispers behind my back like, is he really like that? I was put down and degraded, friendships lost and relationships, they faded, only because I chose to live a life for which I was created. It's funny when you mention the word Jesus, you suddenly hate it. It's funny because the same people will come back years later. They'll see me in the paper doing things with my life and giving glory to my savior. I'll get a text, an email, or call. My life is in ruins. Can we talk at all? Yeah, we can talk because I'm still here, but I'm going to tell you about Jesus even if it's not what you want to hear. But I'm guessing you already knew that I would because he used to make fun of me for it, but you misunderstood. So tell me a little bit about your life and I'll inform you a little bit more about Jesus Christ. Don't worry though, we can keep our conversation secret. Your text about wanting to know more about Jesus, don't worry. And nobody will see it. But I hope one day you'll see fit to step out of this pit that you're trapped in, take his hand and find a life with purpose and passion. And as for the jokes you cracked, when I took a stand, don't worry about it. Life isn't easy when you leave the boys to become a man. When I became a man, I did away with living for the weekend. I looked at society and all I saw was weak men. Getting up on Monday and dying for Friday, traveling in nice cars on the highways and byways like material things is all that defined me. Working two jobs, trying to climb the ladder, clinging to money like it's all that matters. Boys who never became men stuck forever in the past tense and spiritual adolescence. When I became a man, I looked at my friends and said, I don't want to be like that. Hanging on to the latest trends, dying to fit in, being judged by the pimples on their chin. Now this isn't a diss, it's as simple as this. So therefore, I don't need your two cents. When I became a man, I said I wanted something more from this life than getting wasted at my buddy's house every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Most of them waking up and ready to go again, but it's like I said, there's too many boys in this world and not enough men. I remember my mother saying when I was young, when you become a man, do the best you can. I hope you, my son, will choose wisdom and be kind because surely a real man you'll be defined. When you help the needy and the poor, manhood you will learn, but don't do it for glamour or expect praise in return. When I became a man, I said, when I leave this world, I want my life to have purpose. So I stopped wasting my life on the things that are worthless. Every minute on the couch in front of the TV was a waste of a precious moment instead of a journey, a journey that should define me. A journey informing a legacy, and I don't want that legacy to be neglected. So I looked at this world and I will not accept it. I'm not going to be who I wanted to be. No, I absolutely reject it. When I became a man, I picked up my cross, I put down my fame. My sins, they were forgiven in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, my sins will never be in vain. There are thoughts of who I used to be, but no longer am, because God saw a fit to crucify the Lamb so that I could live in His ocean of grace and I will find rest in His holy place. 
He took my place. He took my nails. He took my hell. He took it because he had a plan and the first time I saw it was when I became a man.